When involved in non-formal adult education, be it choir or theatre, evening classes or folk high school, sports, scouts, political youth organisations, creative activities or intercultural understanding, you're part of one of the largest popular movements in Denmark. The common feature is the sense of community and a strong set of values. The non-formal adult education of today has roots way back in the Danish and European tradition of popular enlightenment. In the 1800s, school was strictly academic with rote learning under the discipline of the church. In opposition to this, Nikolai Frederick Severin Grundtvig formed his ideas on the spoken living word as the most significant method of free popular enlightenment. Grundtvig's strong no to academic rote learning and his educational ideas formed a basis for a completely innovative type of school, the folk high school. The first folk high school in Denmark was founded in Rudding in 1844 and was after the Danish defeat to Germany in 1864 moved to Askol as a folk high school. The subjects taught were general and emphasizing national identity. Danish, the language of the peasants, is used in the classroom and the school also provides practical and useful agricultural classes. The groundbreaking innovation is the way they teach. It is learning through dialogue and interaction without fear between the teacher and students. In the folk high school tradition, community singing plays an important part. They sing in the morning and in the evening. They sing about life, the country and the enlightenment itself. The folk high school becomes a context of democratic and national education in which the young students are being prepared for participating in the new democracy instituted by the Constitution of 1849 that remodeled the country from an absolute monarchy to a democracy. From 1844 to 1890, 75 folk high schools are founded all over Denmark and now they receive state subsidy. School and religion is set free from the state church and now you have the free right to establish community houses, independent churches and independent schools. In 1855, the first Act on Independent Schools is passed. In 1861, DGI, a national umbrella organization, is formed uniting the rifle and sports organizations. In 1873, another popular movement, the Arts and Crafts Movement, formed a national organization. In 1865, the first independent congregation is established. In 1866, the first co-op store. In 1882, the first cooperative dairy was founded, and after that, a large number of cooperatives are formed. A cooperative organization is building on community and democracy and constitutes itself with a board elected among the members. This means that a lot of people get first-hand experience with active citizenship in everyday life. In 1871, the Danish women's organization is formed. The women fight for equal rights in family and society and for the right to vote. This they succeed with in 1915 after a long and hard struggle. The political parties are formed around and after the constitution of 1849 and the first political party establishing an adult education association is the Social Democratic Party. In 1924, AOF, Workers' Educational Association, WEA, is formed. They aim to further enlightenment of the working class in DK. WEA is a project of ideological nature, just as the folk high schools were in the 1800s, and also within the workers' movement we find a strong song tradition. In the first decades, WEA is in opposition to the established cultural life in DK, dominated by the middle classes, and WEA makes it a special effort to reach out and provide courses to unemployed. They start day schools for unemployed and in 1929 the first workers' folk high schools is established in Esbjerg. The German occupation means curfew and air raid warnings, but in spite of this, non-formal adult education in modern subjects is blooming. In 1940, Danish Youth Association is formed to mobilize against fascist currents. It is a cross-party initiative with Hal Koch as a key figure. The aim is to defend the basic civic rights, liberty of conscience and of free thinking, freedom of assembly. From 1951, the organization is called Danish Youth Council. 
With the same aim, Danish Adult Education Association, DAEA, is formed in 1941. DAEA becomes an umbrella organization for the non-formal adult education and NGOs. In post-war years, the rest of the old political parties form each their own national study association. In 1945, the Liberal Party forms LOF, the Liberal Adult Education Association. In 1947, the Conservative Party forms FOF. In 1952, the Danish Social Liberal Party forms FO. Together with arts and crafts, they currently form FORA. As an exception, without ties to a political party, DOF is formed in 1973. It is independent and has many small and specialised schools as members. In the same year, we get what is called the world's best act of non-formal adult education. Subsidies to the study associations became higher and higher up to 1970. After that, it has just gone downhill. The contents of courses provided by the study associations and the folk high schools changed over time. The general courses were replaced with more recreational topics and gym classes. Besides from the various types of schools, a wide range of NGOs with very diverse purposes and types of activities are a part of the family. They are all working on a good course, sustainable way of living or ecological education, international understanding and human rights-based development work, e.g. Danish Border Association, ActionAid Denmark, Women and Development, or amateur performers, e.g. like choirs, orchestras and theatres. All of the non-formal sector, with a variety of types of schools and associations, has been made possible thanks to the flexible funding and conditions and thanks to enthusiastic and hard-working teachers, volunteers and front-runners. The non-formal adult education has strong roots, but due to this commitment it keeps coming into leaf. The key challenge has been, and still is, to form a basis for people meeting, so a sense of community can develop and you become able to navigate in the current society.